Hello there and welcome back to the Achievement Planner. And today I'm coming to you with another quick game. It's another Life is Strange game. It's Life is Strange 2. And this one was actually my favorite one. Yeah, this is pretty good. Uh, so yeah, let's go over it. It's going to be a quick guide. 47 achievements for 1,000 gamer score. 1 out of 10 difficulty. Can you believe it? Yeah, they're not hard. You just have to make choices and do stuff. Completion time, 10, out of 15, 10 to 15 hours. Uh, it's not super long. And there are five different sections, by the way, five different episodes. And play through one, all achievements. Even though on these games, you could usually go back and do collectible um, replay. You could just kind of replay the sections you need to get the collectibles. Um, so, yeah, category one, story achievements. Seven achievements for 200 gamer score. And these are the six, well, seven, that you're going to get. So the six are just for doing story. And then all roads traveled for zero gamer score. I don't know why they do that is for unlocking all of Life is Strange 2 achievements. So you will get that eventually if you don't try to get that as long as you're getting all the other achievements. So yeah, you'll get that. So I put that with story. Zero gamer score. I don't know. All right, category number two, drawing achievements. Five achievements for 150 gamer score. And in every single episode, there's a point where you, your character, has to sit down and sketch something. And typically, you, you look at it. You look down, you sketch, you look up again, uh, and you sketch, and then I think it's usually two times, sometimes three times. I think it was three times at one point. Yeah, so the, the first one, the first sketch was uh, sketchy. That was when you are in your bedroom. I'm trying to be, give as little spoiler as possible. So the second one is uh, when you're in this like like little shack, and you're looking out um, uh, out the glass door, and then you're just t you're drawing that. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, number three is when you're in the woods, and I, I think the dog is in the picture. Actually, the, yeah, the dog is cute. Uh, the four, number four is when you are um, actually in a hospital bed. Why are you in a hospital bed? Well, you'll find out. And that's that one. And five is when you are um, up just sitting looking at, at the sunset. So, yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's all I'm going to say for that because I don't want to give too, much, too many details. Okay, so category three. And this is actually going to be similar for all the rest of the categories. But these are collectibles you find. And there are six in each episode. And then you get an achievement for getting them all in that episode. All right, so category three, episode one collectible achievements. Seven achievements for 130 gamer score. So the first one you're going to find at the campsite. And when you're at that campsite, you're going to see something up in the tree. So, so your brother is going to be doing something in the water. I think he's trying to catch fish, if I remember. And you're going to go over uh, and you're going to try to find something in the tree. You're, you're going to see something in the tree. And you're going to ask your brother to come over and get it for you. So, yeah. So, that's how you're going to get that. Now, the next three are all at the mini mart. So, the first one, mini mart. When you're inside the mini mart, you're going to get a keychain from the person behind the counter. And then the third one, you're in the mini mart. You're going to get a sticker on the windowsill. The free stickers and then you when the mini mart you're gonna actually be outside now you have to get this before you sit on the bench you have to get it before that all right so go to the back and you're gonna find back there a bird and it's gonna leave a feather for you isn't that nice and you pick up the feather and that is your collectible all right number five is when you're at the beach uh, at night and you're throwing the thing for the dog and you try to get the dog to play catch and the dog's gonna bring you back a collectible so kind of throw it in the direction that I'm doing it on the video. Um, I got it the first chance, uh, first try, so it was good. But yeah, it's going to be a shark tooth. Isn't that fun? All right, and six is in the motel room, and you're going to go into the cl uh, you're going to look inside the little bureau thing, and there's going to be a card for you to pick up. And after you get that, you'll also get dilly dallying, which is for collecting all the uh, collectibles in that episode. Okay. Category four, episode two collectible achievements, seven achievements for 130 gamer score. So the first one is when you're in the cabin, you're in this little cabin, and you're going to find a toy. And that's it. Yeah, that's all you need to do. So number two, grandparents' house. So you're going to be at your grandparents' house, and you need to then use the train set, uh, the sign. You're going to get a train set sign. But I tried to use it earlier, and it didn't work. You have to go back at a certain point. So keep trying to go back. And so what you need to do once you get there is you need to set it to the right. So you're trying to tell the train where to go. Set it to right, then prepare the refill. After that, you're going to set to forward, and then you're going to go through this little tunnel two times. When you go to second time, it's going to pick up the collectible. Then you set to forward again, 
and then after that you make the train stop. So hopefully I'll show you know I'll show you all that in here quickly. Just a, just a quick way to show you how to do it. All right, number three, neighbor's house. You're gonna go to your neighbor's house, and they have a snowman, and there'll be something on the snowman that you have to take, and that's your collectible. Uh, the next one is that same house, the neighbor's house. You go inside, and you're gonna get an interstellar traveler as your collectible. But first, you have to decide which characters are villains and which characters are heroes. And I'm just gonna tell you, this is the spoiler coming up right now. The villains are the insectoid and the dinosaur car. Spoiling is over. All right, so that was a quick spoiler. But yeah, those are the two. Everybody else is a, is a hero. So if you want to figure that out on your own, I guess that's a quick spoiler. But yeah, whatever. All right, number five, you go to the tree market for Christmas trees. And you're going to talk to the girl playing guitar. And you just have to keep talking to her until there are, there's no more conversation. She'll leave, and you'll get her guitar pick on the ground. Nice. Number six, mom's bedroom. So you're going to go to your mom's bedroom and you're going to mess around and do do a couple things with the stereo. Maybe I'll even let you figure it out. But once you, once you figure out how to open up the, the CD holder, like the place where you put the CD, and uh, some of you probably don't even know what that is, but that's okay because you're too young. Uh, but, but yeah, so you're going to get a ticket in there. After you get that, you get a private journey. That's all the achievements for that. Uh, I mean, all the collectibles. So, Category 5, Episode 3 Collectibles, 7 Achievements uh, for 130 Game Score again. And the first one is when you're at the campsite and you're going to be finding a skull. So, and to do this, you're going to have to follow the, the dog, the cute doggy. All right. Um, so, number two, you're going to be at work and you're going to take the pen that's at work. So, you have to go through a whole, like, mini game kind of doing all this stuff uh, with your job. And then you'll get that pen eventually. So three, you're back at the campsite, and there's going to be a piece of carved wood that one of the characters is carving, and he throws it away, and you just have to pick it up. All right, number four is the lake, and you're going to go to the lake, and you will find a fossil at the lake. So there's this big tree, this huge branch you have to go under, uh, but this is actually, you turn around, it's actually behind you, the fossil. All right, so make sure you don't miss that one. You'll see it in the video. Uh, number five is at, at the camp, and once you're at the camp, you're going to talk to Ingrid, and you're going to go and get Ingrid and Anders' stuff uh, once, once you have the conversation with her. After that, the last one is six at Joe's car yard. You're trying to get this car, and you're going to go, go through, uh, you're going to try to have to get this little, like, you'll see on the video, this little um, this uh, thing open, and you have to get the cartridge that's in it thing I, I know it's not very descriptive i can't think of the word right now uh, you'll see it on the video and then you'll get lost boys chronicle all right category six episode four collectible achievements seven achievements for 130 gamer score uh number one is hotel room so you're gonna find joe's pen in the hotel room once you stand up and it's there you'll see it all right number two is when you're in the car and you're gonna find in the car just sitting there on the right side you're gonna pick it up agent flores's card you're like who's agent flores you'll see all right, number three is when you're in the desert. So you're going to be trying to look for shade, and once you find the shade under the, the billboard, you'll then walk around a little bit. I think, I think you have to follow an animal, actually, if I think remember correctly. And then you find a little skull. So, yeah, you'll see that after the shade. Number four is when you go into the church, and on the table before you go into the, the main sanctuary room is a pin. You could take the pin. Um, and then number five, the motel. That's where you're going to get a casino token. And yeah, I'm, I know I'm going quickly with these. And number six is Daniel's bedroom. So this is in the other house. You'll see um, your Daniel's bedroom, and there's a, pi a picture on his. I think it's on his bed. Yeah, I think it's on his bed, or it might be on his side table. But it's up. Well, you'll see it in the video, of course. And the last one is archivist or archivist, whatever you say when you get them all. And the last category, category seven, episode five, collectible achievements, and seven achievements for 130 gamer score. In case you didn't know. And number one is on the cliff, you're sitting with your brother, and you're going to see something shiny across the way, and he's going to get it for you. But I don't know what it is, actually. I think it's a rock. It's like a shiny rock. I couldn't tell from the video or the game what it was, but you probably know what it is. So, yeah, you see it on the video anyway. Number two, three, and four are all at the trailer park. So you're going to do this little scavenger hunt with your brother, and the trailer park, number two, is uh, you're going to, after the scavenger hunt is over, you're going to find the jewelry uh, I think it's jewelry. I wasn't sure if it was an earring or whatever, but you'll find that and you'll get that. Number three, trailer park. So you're going to go out, out of the, the trailer and you're going to find some stickers. I think on some plant, plant um, growing. Well, I have no words today, apparently. On the things you grow plants in. 
uh, on the beds, the plant beds. Uh, you, you'll see. For trailer park, uh, the bottle opener. So you're going to go around to another trailer and you will find an old-fashioned bottle opener. And you can see in the video which, which trailer that is. And number five, on the outside of the wall, which is this huge wall that you're at, you're going to see these two jugs of water and a stone on it. You're going to pick up that stone. And the last one is when you are in the storage closet. There's a storage closet at the end when you're trying to to do something, which I'm not going to spoil. And there's a bag on the bottom shelf of that storage closet. And so then there's a flag pin on it. You just have to take the flag pin and you got that final collectible. And you'll also get the specks of dust achievement for getting all those. And then at that point, you know, you just have to finish the game and you'll get all the rest. And that's it. That's the whole game. This one was really fun and it was super emotional and, and had a lot, of, a lot of important topics in it and subjects. So I really hope you enjoy this one. Um, and yeah, I'll see you next time on the Achievement Planner.